clients just keep fucking just this anymore. And you back in the way that you were broken. <laughs> Pulls out like a metal bat out of nowhere. He's like, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you say metal bat, I just think like one punch man, and I'm just like, hey, yo, metal bat, now that's the guy. Exactly. <laughs> when you guys uh change camera like on and off like that, it's like, oh, now I have to fix where things are at. <laughs> Sorry, my camera's ass. <laughs> I have to like mess with the cord. Mm. Yeah, it, it's okay if you don't use the camera because I know that Sam was trying to use it on the podcast like last night, and it was just yeah, failing was hard. Damn, I'll be right back. Well, that's fine. That's fine. And you get quick quackers. So, as you guys know, our <laughs> as you guys know. Last session, we kind of got the news from Caligore that uh, he's not going to be uh, playing with us anymore because he's got oh, some family stuff going on, some medical issues with some people in his family. So without getting too into details there, he's not going to be with us, and that does leave us with a empty slot at the table. And we had a few people that wanted to join, and I wanted to kind of like leave that up to you guys as the players, you know, for the sake of player uh, chemistry, because I'm all about having good player chemistry, making sure everyone just kind of has this, the good vibe together. Oh. Right. And of the people that we had that wanted to join the campaign, we had... Uh, Sienna and Micah's roommates, uh, what is it, uh, I can't, re I Bridget can't remember, and both Patrick. Bridget and, uh, Patrick. Patrick, yeah, Patrick and Bridget, and, hmm. uh, and Freelance, uh, wanted to join as well, uh, now, I don't want to go over my, oh, I, I don't want to do, like, all three of them, because that's, like, a, that's a whole thing, like, you gotta know your limits as a DM. Um. Right. So I just wanted to get like the general vibe for uh, our table, who you guys feel like you would better vibe with. So personally, I feel like freelance, especially like after the the soul eater thing, especially you know. Yeah. I don't really like. I can see how you'd feel a little burned. I don't know if that. we really. Yeah, I don't know if we really trust him to like be involved in the campaign. No, neither did we. Mm. I think it's that's fair enough. Just going over to see if it's theirs right now. If not, then uh, there's M and M caramel fudge ice cream in there. You know, I had not considered having caramel fudge ice cream as a player. <laughs> you know, that opens up so many. It sounds like a lot of fun, though. That opens up so yes. many opportunities. I mean, think about it. Caramel fudge ice cream brings snacks to the table every time. We we know I mean, we, we know your camera is not gonna do the trick. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna try. <laughs> I remember the last trying is half I the battle. Cause... I mean, I respect the effort. All right, so the Sienna and uh, Mike, I believe you were both in favor of your roommates, which makes sense. Of course, you'd uh, have like a little bit of bias there. And that's perfectly understandable. If you think they got the vibe, then that's cool. And uh, I, also, uh, uh, I cannot hear Sienna. I need her now. Uh, a little bit. I am cool with us too. If you don't want to add anyone, I think that yeah. this last game was really fun. So. Yeah, I do think that four players is a sweet spot for me at DMing wise, and I'm perfectly content to go from there. And given that you guys are starting a pirate crew, it is going to get top heavy in the sense that you will be recruiting people as you go. Yeah, especially. PCs and stuff like 
So if, yeah. you, if you guys feel like this right here, what we have is the perfect dynamic, then that I'm good with that as well. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. Too. All right. I actually really like that decision because four players is a very, it's just, it is a sweet spot for me. Oh, yeah. I'm a bit comfortable. It's comfortable. You don't have to, like, kind of divide things too much one way or the other. All right. So, with that out of the way, last time uh, we had, uh, where last we left off for One Piece D&D &D Dungeons and Devil Fruits, you guys were running through the streets. You had recently knocked out the Beaver Man after failing to poison him with a whole charm situation very debatable uh, in the rules i had talked to some other people about the situation they're like does a charm person not let people do things that would actively harm them and i'm like well you see it's very in situation. a way it was alcohol, alcohol well, yes. you, uh, you know i, I sided yeah, with you guys on that one I, I thought i thought it was funny and it was even funnier that it didn't work so <laughs> you know he just ended up getting drunk like <laughs> <laughs> you know this is a guy that has done a fair bit of drugs in his day as a pirate and you know of course he'd have a resistance to that kind of thing he, he's he's built up he's a big boy so you yeah. guys had knocked him out proceeded to interrogate a little bit uh, you know not in that order discovered the secret uh, uh grotto full of illegally uh, procured goods and a submersible and proceeded to uh, let's say claim some uh, of some of these goods for yourselves to bring back to the ship and you were on your way back to the ship when as unfortunately due to some high roles on their on the crew members part and some not so great roles on uh, you guys' part, yeah, y'all got noticed, and a fight is about to ensue. And my daughter is looking at me expectantly. What do you want? Well, Kai, <laughs> we were just watching a show, and Kai is being super rude by playing on, watching a show on his phone super loudly, and we tell him, go well, in his you room. You all need to put the electronics away and go to bed. <laughs> well, your mother has said it. And pray and make oh, sleep on the bed that has the cover on. Oh, well, th that is all falling well, apart. Well, if I wasn't wearing anything, this would be very up. <laughs> yeah, for fuck's sake, I, I put everything up. And <laughs> then I'm editing that out or leaving it in. I don't fucking know. <laughs> 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 it's a D&D &D time, and oh. You got school tomorrow. Go or you'll or forever be tired in the morning and nothing oh, is more miserable than being tired in the morning. Okay, yeah, we, we, yes. Nothing is more miserable than being tired at school. Yeah, now go, go. Look, it looks like a miserable. Just go. But I'm just <laughs> Yeah, and you're going to be a sleepy head if you don't go to bed. <laughs> Me. On time rhymes. <laughs> Keep kids away from crimes. Well, hey, you know what they say. Stay in school, you'll get money for drugs. Yeah, awesome. you're kind of right, though. <laughs> We also got some uh, dice in the mail, and I'll be putting the fate of this crew today in these dice that we got from a contest on Twitter. Oh, nice! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I named a mouse for a thing that somebody was doing, and uh, the light's a little too bright for that, but they, they sparkle a little bit. Ooh, oh, Ryan, correct colors. me if I'm wrong. The beater man is... Uh behind akisu oh uh, yeah i didn't put a token there for him because he's basically luggage thrown to the side yeah. right now he is out mm -hmm. 
<laughs> it's a good idea like where he is. Um, okay, so I tell you, what, I'll, I'll use one of these little commoner uh, tokens <laughs> to represent uh, Mr. Beaver Man. There you go. Nice. So as the the people, you know, notice us and their protests and stuff, not? what it, what do they do? Do they do they? Well, <laughs> I remember Chibi stabbed one of them. So we're like in open combat now. Yes. Right? Yes. And I forget. Okay. Well, actually, the ah. little thing right here should. Let you us... wrote down our initiative, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it is in the uh, the chat. I believe I was first. If they didn't require that. Yep. Oh, yeah, like it. Honestly, it just kind of rolled up the initiative, and it came out. Pretty, it goes t- pretty close to what you guys had oh. rolled initially. So I was content nice. with that. <laughs> <laughs> Although I am getting annoyed with my daughter coming in here while we're trying to do this and not going to bed. Well, who's first up on the... uh... Oh, also, I wanted to ask, while we were, uh, like, waiting and, you know, waiting for them to get there to that base, could we have taken a short rest? Or could I have taken a short rest? No. Well, I have all of us here. No? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you, you have to actively be trying to go for your short rest. Ah, all right, there it is. That I is a conscious that. decision. First in the initial. Mm. So, here, here we are. The fight is breaking out. What? Are you going to do? Who's first? Yeah, what's the initiative? Oh, it's me? Yeah, what's the initiative order? Uh, no, it's actually, yeah, yeah, it is you. Yeah, it is you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're the little carousel. You're enlarged. Oh, okay, okay. Um, well, I guess I'll just draw my two coolest stars and I'll take two swipes at the gun. Right. That works. Why is there music more? You don't like battle music? Mm. No, I like it. It's just I didn't know if it was coming from you or <laughs> if it was like random music playing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're, you're going for the, the wide swing, huh? It's two hits. Okay. Oh, what's the roll to hit? Because, like, you clicked on the okay. thing for it? A few moments. And... Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Get it, Scrim. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like Devil May Cry music. <laughs> and... 14. 14. Do those hit? Yeah, that hits. Both of them? Yes. Okay, go. Um, how do I do the damage? Bah. So all I gotta do is uh, beat 14, huh? At least a 14. At least, so far. And a nine. All right. Nice. So, nine damages. Damage these nuts. Yeah, for 15 total. Oh, for 15 total? Yeah, yeah, 15 total. Oh, yeah, that is a devastating hit. Uh, what does this hit look like? Right here. Uh. No, I'm just gonna stop. Hmm? I'm gonna take I'm gonna pull both my blades, take two quick swipes. 
across All right. the right. So, so you go in and you're just like, wham, bam, just kind of like a, almost like a scissor, like just quick slice. Yeah. Just, and as you do so, like it leaves like huge, uh, like an X shaped laceration across his chest. And, oh, yeah. and he just kind of like stumbles back a little bit. He's like, ugh, ugh, ugh. Oh, boys, they're stronger than we realized. Watch yourselves. And then I'm going to. Do you have any bonus action you can do? Uh, no, the, the second attack is your bonus action. Oh, oh yeah? Because okay. the offhand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, with that, I guess I'll do it. Okay, so you're just going to end it right there? Yep. All right. Uh, Chibi, what you going to do? And I like, like I still can't hear you very well. I know that you dealt like at least six damage to this guy last time. Mm -hmm. Can I see what weapons they have on them? Um, these are the zoo pirates, so they each have their little uh, claw, uh, little fur claw gauntlets, mm -hmm. and pistols on them as well. How tall is the roof? Do you think it's like jumpable? I didn't hear what you said there. Do you think that the roof is jumpable for me? How high are the roof from the ground? How high are the rooftops, and is she be able? Is oh, is oh, sorry, my my mic was not doing. My my daughter had touched the cable, so let me just oh. try to <laughs> fix that. Fair. Hey, uh, talk. Hello. Hello. Oh, almost had it. Ah, ah, ba, 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 ba. Ba. No. Hmm. Hello. I hate Hello. The, like I had it just right and it's finicky. Hmm. Come on. Hello. Ah. I, I almost <laughs> had it. Ah, constant noise. So Thank it's you. able Thank to hear you. better. There, we got it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Tiana. Hello? Hello. You can hear you a little bit. You're just really quiet. I don't know why Siana's uh, oh, mic oh, is always okay. like that. I put my, I put my input and sensitivity to high. high. Better? I tried to do my aux. It's I'm talking loud. Uh, <laughs> it is better. <laughs> Maybe if we find a way to turn up her gain in some way. Let me see. I, I don't know, <laughs> but like, Sian is always like just, just kind of, perfectly. Kind of, it's weird. Hello. Oh. Ooh, I found it. Is it good? Yeah, they only fixed me too. Hmm. Static and it fixed me. You turned on the isolation. Can you hear me now? Uh, yeah. It's a little staticky. It's still picking me up. Hmm. Always hmm? with the troubleshooting issues. Such is the way. Yep. Hooray for technology. Honestly. <laughs> when do you get like mine? I guess this is a bad option. I swear, if it's not my kids, it's, it's <laughs> something else. How about if I do like this? Hmm? Talk? It'd probably be better, yeah. 
All right, I'll try to remember the have to stuck on, but how far are the roofs like above us? Or above the eyes, rather. I swear, it's got to be like some kind of generational thing. Like, uh, I never would have been this obstinate about going to bed when I was a kid. All right. All right. But it's like, is Chibi able to jump up to the roof? Is what she's trying to get at. Oh, oh, I did not hear that initially. But uh, let's see. the The roof would be about twenty feet high, seeing as that's a two story building. Oh yes. Oh, yes. Uh, so I could jump it. My is forty. My climb is twenty. Okay, so uh, what's your jump height though? I'm not sure. It's not labeled. Jump, jump height is usually like. Double your movement with like your dexterity. No, 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 no. I mean, for her, she's a rabbit. <laughs> Double your movement. She's literally a rabbit. I'm looking at how much rabbits can jump. Rabbits can jump up to two feet high. I would not be surprised, man. This is one. This is just 12 tall. <laughs> okay, so it, under most circumstances, uh, jump height would be, in, in classic D&D, &D, it's three feet plus your strength modifier. But, you know what? I am willing to have it be plus... Whichever is higher, your athletics mod or your acrobatics mod so plus the acrobatics be you said uh so what would that be so so your jump you height just would, use your acrobatics yeah so let's see so your chibi's uh acrobatics so roll. is uh is six so her her base of vertical jump height would be nine feet, so she could easily reach something that's about, like, say she wanted to jump to like a fifteen foot ledge, she could reach the ledge. We on a cart and then up to it. Yeah. And then make it. What like on top? For shits and giggles, I looked up how high a rabbit can jump in real life, and it's roughly four times their their length. That makes, that makes sense. And seeing how Chibi oh, is, yeah. a, is still humanoid and part rabbit, being able to reach to jump at least double her height, it seems about right. That was funny. There, boom. We, we've made we've made rules, and now I have to stand on this precedent precedent for the rest of the campaign. Yep. <laughs> I'm fine with it. That makes for uh, more cool stuff, anyways. Rule of two. And then I'm gonna pull out pull my bow and try to shoot the one I stabbed. Okay, so you leap up uh, onto like this nearby cart thing here, and you're able to, since you are second level, you are able to disengage as a bonus action. So mm -hmm. I assume that you do that so that you're not causing any initial attack of opportunities. And, yeah. And you effortlessly just kind of like leap up to the ledge, kind of grab on and just pull yourself up. And you're not going to have advantage. Actually, no, you do have high ground, so I'll give you advantage. Okay. So, roll to hit. It's funny just seeing everybody's mouse go everywhere. A little <laughs> cursor. I know, like the little zoomed in cursors with the names, like just, ooh, guys, look, in, look, look where mm -hmm. I'm looking. I and click the attack. What? So now you go back to the chat and you click the attack button. Oh yeah, you she's got to make the attack. Oh, 
Oh, you 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 clicked on oh, the I, item. Yeah, like you clicked on the item, but you didn't click like on the attack. Oh, oh that is. Ooh, oh, is damn. damn. Does, Does a twenty-five? Close. Yes, yes, a twenty-five. The dirtiest Ooh. twenty I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, uh, roll for damage. Fucking cook. <laughs> I can almost guarantee you're ending this man with the damage, though. <laughs> Nine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, how do you want to do this? Yikes. Just quickly, like, pull up on the roof, pull my bow out, and chow, and right into his head. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you get right up there, and you just kind of, like, whip around, uh, real quick archer style like kind of like grabbing the bow like almost un underhanded like boom headshot and like a as it uh, pierces right through like it, it goes through like one ear and out the other and just kind of like sticks into the ground for a moment and with a little and, and he just collapses So you get for asking questions. Okay, one down. Oh, what the fuck? I, I like that I can just mark these guys like this. <laughs> and dead. Goodbye. Yeah. <clears throat> Bad hammer to the. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> nice. that was funny. Boundary VTT <laughs> does not cease to entertain me with all the little things that comes out of it. Who's up next? Okay. Oh, Monk was me. It was just a really well timed Monk. And next up is Akisu in the turn order. It's me. It's a me, Akisu. So, yeah, okay. I think I. Although I'm it's still I'm saying just... that. Uh, no. Oh, okay. So I need to. Oh, uh, I, I'm supposed to be the one uh, advancing turn order. My bad. Sorry, guys. Well, hey, I'm still learning I this thing. I forgot. It happens. That's all good. It's all good. It's okay. I forgot how to work this fucking thing. How do I get to my attack? Uh, your, uh, your inventory, inventory, if you're just going to use your weapon. On the right side. So, yeah, on your player sheet. Uh, I'm going to just pull out my giant sling and just take a shot. All right, go for it. Uh, which one? Um... That guy. Okay, there's the one that's undamaged. There's the one that I hit. I think that's it. Yeah, you, you guys hit are this just guy? plowing through these dudes. I hit the guy that's right in front of me. So th this guy, <clears throat> the one that cursor is over. Yes. I like the little ping message too. That's nice. Yeah. I'm petting his bald little head. <laughs> <laughs> bald as a <laughs> fucking calm down, motherfucker. Right. And your head's brighter than my future, bitch. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That one. Okay. So you, uh, as you're getting ready to, like, you, you draw back your giant sling and you're getting, uh, you line up your shot, you're a little cocky about it. And as you do, you just kind of like, uh, you trip over the beaver man and like lose, miss a step, and that the shot goes <laughs> wide, and as it goes, it just lands in the side of this building right by the guy, and oh. it just like the little shingles on the roof start just cascading down onto the ground, <laughs> and you just hear like little cracks, like as uh, pizza, pieces of it cr uh, break like clay and porcelain, <laughs> and at uh, for a brief moment, like you just kind of get, like just a, a irritating a little whip back in the like to the side of the cheek as the, the slingshot comes back. 
Damn. 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 You, you, forgot, you forgot Beaver Dude was next to you. I'm gonna kick him a little bit to get him a little away from me. <clears throat> <laughs> Stupid dog. Stupid dog. You make me look bad. Just a good old fashioned. <laughs> All right. Now it's Rory's turn. And Rory just kind of like looks around and he's like, um. Hmm. I, I got an idea. And he pick he reaches down in, in deep into his pocket and steps to the the side of Tonga here and throws pocket sand into the guy's face. Yes. <laughs> pocket sand. <laughs> him I got him distracted. Nice nod. And I taught you well. <laughs> As he does that, he takes a knife uh, in his other hand, and he he goes for a stab. Get him, Rory. So the the pocket sand is going to give you advantage on your next attack, Tonga. Okay. Because that's uh, his help action, which uh, he can do as a bonus action. Cool for Rory. Nice. And let me just look at his sheet real quick. Fuck cause... yeah. No. Quest. Pocket sand blind an enemy. Well, I'm just kind of flavoring how he's using his help action oh, here. Gotcha. Okay, so he's gonna go for the dagger. Oh wait, I can click on oh. I'll just have to roll for it then. Oh, yeah, that that hits. Nice. Good so, lad. He hits this guy for what? Did I? Did one of my kids steal my? No, oh, there's my D four. Oh, that fucker stole my dice. <laughs> right. All right. So he uh like jams it right into this uh, guy's stomach for a whole whopping seven damage. Nice. Which, not enough to kill him, but, you know, it's not insignificant either. It, Rory is okay. doing his part. There. We got him, oh, Tonga. I reach yeah. out, give him a little fist bump. Yeah, he just kind of like gives you like a nod. Ooh, here we go. Thug's turn. Now he's pissed and he he's like looks uh, to both of you and he sees Akisu behind. He's like, no, no this, this ain't worth it. Woodrow is on his own. And he's going to <laughs> he's going to take the disengage action. And who he's going to make a run for it. With the disengage action, does that mean I can't see him? The, the disengage action means that he will not take attacks of opportunity as he's leaving. Yeah, yeah like you can't attack him when he runs away. Because normally if he doesn't disengage, you have attack of just like a chance to react to and as he's running away, he's just kind of like shouting, like, everyone, get the boys! The boys? Yeah. And The boys are back in town. Oh, the boys are back in town. He's, he's like, it's an uprising! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's his turn. And then next in turn order is Snyder. Oh, what you gonna do, Snyder? Because we're skipping Mr. Dead Man. Let him get away. All right. Um. No witnesses. So that's... Mm, see, I wanted to throw my spear, but I have a minus one in strength, so that'd be a bad idea. 
Um. <laughs> mm. Something to bump up at a later point. Do, do, do. Wait, is it is a spear a finesse weapon? Probably not. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't know. I, I was just wondering. It is a simple melee. Ah, so. spear, simple melee. Oh, they this is what it's labeled as. Huh. Right here. But um. Hmm. Oh, well, you, you still got one guy with the full health in front of you or whatever yeah. any other actions you guys might deem that you want to go for. I am use my door door fruit to uh, okay. teleport over to this guy. OK. Oh, okay. yeah, I, I see. The spear has the versatile and thrown property. That's good. Oh, uh, no, versatile is very good because, like, you can take it up a damage die if you use uh, two hands. Yep. Oh. In, in theory, if you had like the dual wielding shit, you'd be able to just be like, "Ha! Ah, I can, I can dual spearing," like that dude from like Fate. But yeah, you're you're gonna use the door door fruit to get in front of this guy. Yeah. Okay, so you, you kind of like yeah. a, take a step forward, and you just kind of like reach a, in front of the air, the space in front of you, and you push it open. It, it, <laughs> so are you making an attack as you do this? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna give the you spear out as you walk through. I'm going to give you advantage on this attack because who expects that? Like, <laughs> who expects somebody to walk out of thin air? <laughs> Doors don't just pop out of thin air, and here you are just pushing open uh, right in front of him, and he's running full tilt. Twenty. Oh, Brit. oh shit. Okay. Hell uh, yeah. Sell us on the scene. How do how do you do this? So as I step out of the the pocket dimension that I made, I just run my th my my spear, <laughs> my spear. He, like, walks onto it. <laughs> yeah, I just just hold my spear underneath my uh my arm and just kind of yeah. <laughs> walk out and slowly plunging it into his chest. <laughs> yeah, that that ends this man. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I should just hit the dead instead of just a uh... check um as this is happening. We're, yeah, we're, so this is the first like, time that area. you guys have seen him use the door door fruit. Oh shit. <laughs> So uh, as as the guy was shouting out, can I take a quick minute to like look around the area, see who is listening to him shouting this? Uh, yeah, uh, make a perception check. And by the way, I love that use of the door door fruit there because you're like, okay, this guy is trying to get more people on us, so he's just like, yeah. I'm just fucking just don't mind me. Looks like a. Uh... I think you only get like a couple uses of that. Uh, yeah, just thirteen. Okay, so you're uh, you look around and you see some uh, a a group of uh, individuals behind you that are like kind of just like sitting at some tables that are just kind of like laughing at the uh, entire debacle as it's happening. You notice that they have like the top hats and the overly sized bow ties that are indicative of the Thai man pirates. <laughs> can I kind of look over just kind of them a nod? Uh, yeah, a as you kind of like a uh, turn around, you're like, sup. At one yeah, of them, kinda like... it just kind of points at you and like kind of like nudges buddies and they just start laughing even harder. All right, nice. <laughs> <laughs> and, 
And all right, moving into the next in the initiative order, we got the one dude that is undamaged so far. He, he uh, so since I have an, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, actually, no, it's you still your turn. So, uh, anything else? Um, I was just saying that uh, I have an unlevel fruit, so I get five charges okay. at third uh, spell level. Oh, nice. Oh, I see. Okay. I just wanted, so I have four charges now. Okay, so the, the short distance teleport that only uses one charge? I believe so, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think we uh, talked about how, like, it's a, a certain number of charges per, like, a, your, your level. So it's like, yeah, as, as opposed to like uh, having like a the five uh, up front. So you sh should have one other charge left. OK, yeah. Yeah, that's right. We wanted to scale with level. Not yeah, because we wanted you to the, scale the outright. Yeah. Because objectively, but, uh, we haven't had this fruit that long. True. Still, still testing it out. So, so you still have another. I was starving at sea. <laughs> but. Can I, um, like, so as that guy goes down, as he, like, finishes shouting out and stuff, can I look up to Chibi and kind of, like, try to convey that I want her to look around the area, too? Well, we'll anyone, have to like... wait till your turn, which is after, okay. uh, homeboy here. So, uh, okay. Snyder, is there anything else that you want to do with your turn? Because, like, you used your, uh, door door fruit as a bonus action. You uh, made your attack. You still have some movement. Um. Hmm. I think I'm good for now. Okay. Damn, I love the measuring on that. <laughs> That's really good. It is nice. Dude, roll 20 had been doing us dirty for so long, and we didn't even know. I remember using roll 20 on my PS4. <laughs> that shit was off. <laughs> that was, that was such a horrible experience. The fact that you could have it as an experience, though, was interesting. We tried. So this guy sees this. He sees the writing on the wall, and he's going to take the dash action. Oof. Oh shit. Thanks for and let me just move a little bit more. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus yeah. fucking Christ. Wait. I bet you be could catch him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Damn. he Boy, has broken up, line of sight with you guys. Right. God damn. I would do it. Homie wanted to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> yeah, he took a look around and he's like, ah, 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 and just, <laughs> like, hear faint, uh, like, just goofish screams as he's just kind of like going down the alleyways. <laughs> Blubbering like a little baby. And, and as uh, this whole scene is going on, <clears throat> there. A lot of the uh, everyday common folk are around the area just kind of like, uh, like, uh, some do walk by you guys because apparently fights are kind of a, a normal thing around here, but they, they're not making eye contact. Like, they're purposely, like, kind of like looking away. And, like, you, you see, like, the occasional, uh, like, a parent with, like, a child, and they're just kind of like, a, they're turning direction oh, entirely to just move away from everything. Uh -huh. All right. All right, Tonga. Oh, what you gonna do? Well, uh, the guy breaks the line of sight. I'm gonna just look around the area real quick, give it a good scan. People are walking around, minding their business. Does anyone look like they're taking note of him? Okay, so as you look around, uh, clearly the, the Thai man uh, guys at the table uh, far behind you guys they mm. were taking notes so you did notice that a lot of people have noticed you guys 
but are just kind of trying not to make eye contact. Right. It was nothing too flashy. Yeah, just it, it seems like it was just a quick little scuffle. Mm. Or fuffle. Yeah. <laughs> some, <laughs> some people were just map. taken aback by it and just like, uh no, no. Didn't see anything. All right. So uh, I guess we're just gonna kinda I'm gonna gesture to have um Akisu and you know carry on and stuff like that. I'm gonna look up to Chibi. I'm gonna say, do you think we can go find him? Can you hear me from up there? I mean, you're only like 15 feet up. I don't really want to mention that I'm on the roof. I mean, you're I mean, on a roof. It uh, sound doesn't carry that hard. No. I mean, like, I'd be looking up at the sky and be like, you think you can catch him? Yeah, I don't have an More or less. I'll just like follow the general direction I saw him disappear in. Now, thankfully, long jumps are further than your uh, vertical jumps. Can I drop roofs? Um, I'm looking at the tra at the traditional five E rules for jump, and then adding what I just ruled, because like I know it's a uh, ten feet uh, plus. Uh, What the heck? Why don't I see them mapping? Okay, yeah, if you move 10 feet before you jump, oh, yeah. be clear, they can go. Support movement. Uh, it's so annoying when I have to click quickly look something up. Just because, like, you people don't use jump rules all that much. Okay, long jump. Here we go. Okay, so you move up to a number of feet equal, equal to whatever to your strength score. Now that's normal. So in this case, I will say that your long jump can will be. But it is a short. Like this is hard. What? I uh, sixteen feet. You'll have a sixteen foot long jump. Because. Adding your modifier from uh, what, is, what is this card? Acrobatics. Right here? This, this card right here. Hmm. Oh, that's a that's some crates in a cart. Would it be high enough to therefore jump? Hmm. It was like your dash and stuff. I wonder. Well, that's true. Can I add dash action to a jump action? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Jumping is not an action, that's your movement. I could do the dash action to double my jump movement. Yeah. Well, you could double uh, the, move, the movement that you're using. And as you can see, like right here, uh, the blue building has like three tiers. So I'd say. Yeah, so I'll jump. Yeah, like. Look at the pool. You gotta like jump on down, uh, bouncing from uh, ledge to ledge, coming down. You you reach this street. Actually, no. You come to this little uh, cart thing that you jumped on initially. You leap across to this little rooftop here. That, this is low. It's just like a about six or uh, seven feet up. So th not that big okay. deal for a long jump. And then you're just kind of like bouncing up like five or um, about seven or feet so or so per story. So just like boom, boom, boom. And then, and then climbing 20 feet. Yeah, I think you're good. Yeah. Get up there. So the dash action will give you a whole 60 feet. We know that you can clear uh, these two buildings right here, because that's a uh, not that much of a gap. Did you press? 
Oh yeah, so your your dash you have eighty feet worth of uh, movement. Holy okay. fuck! Yeah, dude. Chibi is crazy when she's trying. It goes beyond that though. It's like Kara. as a rogue, she can dash as a bonus action, so she can actually. She can dash. So this is eighty right here, and this like it looks like it's on kind of like a slope. Does that mean I'm on a very high point? Yes. I'd say Can I see him from not from that angle? Okay. But you're you're close to You'd where you to... think he would be. Okay. And because uh, you would have rogue, you would take an I... like you can take dash as a bonus action and as a regular action. Okay. So you'd be able to move uh, around Might even well further. Jump. Another uh, what, what is it, 30, Another 40. 40. Grand total, Chibi uh, legit has the best movement in of the entire crew, being able to move up to 120 feet in one round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to attack after, but still. Oh. God damn. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Then uh, she will get just more bonus actions. Mm -hmm. I mean, as, as time goes on, so it just gets longer and longer. Uh, is she planning on going into the thief subclass? Because the thief subclass gives you a second bonus action in Baldur's Gate. I haven't looked at. Oh yeah. I haven't looked at the thief subclass in regular Five E. I'm just going to assume that it does the same thing. If it does, that'd be you'd be stupidly good at movement. I'll go here, look to see if I can see him in this alleyway. Okay, so you here. Like here, yeah, because you saw uh, him turn down in that direction, and you you get up to the edge. Uh, make a perception check. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oof. You you kind of look down, but like a. Uh, as you look down, it's like, hmm, you see some people down in there, but you, you come to the realization, you never got a good look at this guy's face. You're not sure which one of the guys in the alley is him. I don't do private because I have a perception. Uh, what was that? It was kind of breaking up for a moment. Like, be like right with her, like, but she'd be able to hear. Oh uh, yeah, you guys can shout to each other. It's a reasonable distance. Oh no, oh, no. I mean, like, uh, would she like? As she's like looking around the area. She's like, you know, listening, listening to conversations or whatever. Is there anything that she may pick? Um. Not particularly. I mean, it would that would be part of the same role. Uh, she looks down. Oh, yeah. She's just like a, sees one guy kind of chilling and one uh, just kind of sitting around, and then just a, a third guy just uh, paint, just kind of like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, since she's like out of sight from us, uh, I would probably turn to Akisu and just like continue on carrying the boy. Let's kind of kick on <laughs> onto the ship, right? Yeah. Oh, also, yeah, I want to loot these bodies for sure. Yes. As, as we oh, kind of. Yeah, sure. Now, let's see here, because I, I will end combat there. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so I just end the combat. Yes, I can do the thing. I was messing with some stuff earlier that had like a loot generation with it. Oh. I was assuming that it was going to like a load loot right in there. 
but but whatever, whatever. Two guys. Oh, There's this one, yeah, that and. Okay, this so I, I assume you're both like individually uh, seeing what these uh, people have on them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So each of them has, like I mentioned before, the standard little fur claw gauntlets. Two of them. A, a, a pistol is a bit of a sidearm and a holster. And uh, Tonga, give me a just a flat d20 roll. Uh, you as well, Snyder. Okay. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. And Snyder. Six. Okay. So, Snyder, as you're kind of like uh, rifling through this guy's pockets, you find a half-smoked pack of cigarettes, a a kind of half-decent lighter with a couple of dents in it, as well as a little... Uh, coin purse uh with uh some about 700 berry in it and then like a it's kind of like a little wallet pouch on the side with 1200 berry nice and then tonga as uh, you're kind of like rifling through this dude's things y you find a little flask of alcohol as you kind of like open it up and kind of like give it a little kind of a little bit of a sniff, you can tell it's a, some kind of vintage of bourbon, although not really anything you could place right off the top of your head. Okay. As well as you find a couple of of normal daggers, like, a, you know, just something for on one of them, you find like a little bits of like dried cheese. So cl clearly he had been using it for something. Right. Probably. For what? Probably with a meal. Uh, as well as you find uh, 6,000 berry. Ew. In, yeah, about 6,000 berry and just a, a weird looking pearl. Okay. Like, you, you've seen like a lot of pearls uh, from, oh, oh. Uh, Wait, wait a minute. Oh, you, you were writing that down. Okay, I, I was, uh, I was like, wait a minute, what? That my weird pearl. <laughs> yeah. In addition to that, you you do find just like a a small little packet of powder. Packet of powder. Okay. Yes. Oh boy, Snyder's gonna start powder? Uh, start I'll a see. cigarette smoking habit. <laughs> I, mean, I hope someone does. <laughs> I don't care what people say. I may not smoke, but smoking's cool. <laughs> you tell him. Mm. Just picture Snyder walking Ooh. around with a fucking pipe, just like. <laughs> Fucking oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I that... investigate this powder. Okay. Now, how are you trying to investigate this? Are you like like kind of taste it or smell it or just like? I mean, okay. I, I've been around. What does this look like? <laughs> like... As you kind of. Uh... Well, give me an investigation roll. I imagine I've seen it. Well, either investigation or history, whichever uh, you feel is better. <laughs> You're not sure, but, you know, it's probably some kind of drugs, if not sugar. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm not going to sniff it, not going to taste it. I'm just going to put it in my pouch. <laughs> Wait, but as weird powder. <laughs> yeah, like as far as you can tell, it it looks like it could be sugar, but you're like, mm, it. You're like, it's Why probably would you carry sugar? drugs, probably.
All right. So what y'all going to do? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over to the beaver man and pick him up again. Yeah, yeah we're gonna continue walking on back to the... yeah. Okay, so you guys are going to try to be not be seen. Can I? Because I'm looking at this pearl. What does it look like? Uh, it's you. It's a decent little size, about a a centimeter and a half in diameter. It has a like a little bit of a chip in one side of it, and just like a a, a little red dot on the other side. Okay. Like, hmm, people don't usually mark their pearls. Oh, it's marked? Yeah, because like a... Nice as a mark? Yep. So you guys pick up a beaver dude and you're heading on back to the ship? Yep. yep. All right, so... You guys, uh, is it going? Are you heading back stealthily, or are you just like hustling? Hustling is not the mm, like not the right one. term, but whatever. Because I'd be afraid the beaver man is gonna wake up. Yeah, I think we're we'll, we'll like maybe we should, maybe we should go a little bit stealthy. <laughs> You're just gonna leave. We'll, we'll kind of take like the back. <laughs> We'll take like the the side streets. Okay, some some side streets. Okay. Yeah. Because like uh, going south of where you are will yeah, lead you to the books. Yeah, and then we can have like chibi. I don't know why the connection's so weird with the Discord right now. Chewie comes back and we'll look over and say, so, any chance of finding him? Nah, I can tell. All you humans well, look the same. <laughs> I'm not even a human. <laughs> you know how it is, Tom. <laughs> I just not. <laughs> I'm a guy from what I could understand. He had an unremarkable we, face. Yeah. Yeah. He's forget. Let's hope it doesn't bite us in the butt later. Let's get this guy home. <clears throat> I'm gonna pat him on the head. Yeah, that's awesome. Fucking jobs having that guy on God. <laughs> He told you that pocket sand would come in handy. Out of you. You know, Tonga, I, I, I always thought pocket sand was just like a bit of a joke. But oh, it, hold on, and, and he bends down and just walks up to like a, a little <laughs> small mound of dirt and just stuffs it back into his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, proud of you right now. You convinced me. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna bend out like a, a nice coin. Like, I'm gonna hand it to him. Like, nice. Give him a nice, Give him a nice little Thanks. velvet pouch. Fuck yeah! First wallet. <laughs> We both know the first. Well, the first one I haven't had to get rid of. Yeah. <laughs> well, <that's... laughs> first one that was given to me willingly <laughs> from a corpse. <laughs> I didn't take. <laughs> I just noticed immediately it's just one of their wallets. <laughs> 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 All right. So you guys, uh, okay. So just to be clear, you don't have uh, the beaver with you, beaver man. We do. Okay, you we do. do. You're so you're bringing him. Yeah. Yes. 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 
Okay. So you guys make your way on down to the docks. And let's see if you encounter any more troubles. Okay, so fortunately for you guys. Our money in our... Actually, I should be rolling more percentile for these things. Okay. So you guys manage to get down to the docks with zero incident after this. Uh, your hands are, there's blood on your hands, but that's okay. Just another day for a pirate. And a, um, as you uh, get down to the dock, yeah, but yeah. Uh, what was that? Let's hear. Don't, Don't interrupt God, God while he's narrating. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just, that, it just kept like breaking up and being all like Roboto. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> carrying a bunch of supplies uh yeah you, yes. oh yeah you guys pick up your supplies uh, of course so you get down to the docks you, you see like the typical hustle and bustle of all these uh, people just loading ships unloading ships mm -hmm. uh a few uh like we you get the occasional uh, you get the occasional pirates just like kind of like mulling about uh, some zoo, some Thai man, just uh, kind of managing uh, some things from the looks of it. And they don't really give you too much of a glance uh, your way. Hmm. Fortunately for you guys, uh, and let's see, Chibi's uh, vessel is parked further down the way as you go. And as you kind of like get down there, you, you see that it looks undisturbed, fortunately for you guys. So you're you're at the ship. Things are loaded. What's the next move? Hell yeah. I'm going to to the more like areas of the ship. And we'll place the beer guy in there. We gotta tie them up. Yeah. Yeah. Put a room. Are you dead? <laughs> just knocked out. Yeah, he, he's been knocked. Yeah, we got a little bit. Of, <laughs> he got a little bit of a concussion. He'll be alright. He he he's a little concussed, but he got the spirit. All I can yeah, think yeah. of is change the uh. So, I, like health animations where you get shot and you like <laughs> re like put your finger back. <laughs> I stabbed him through his chest. He did not. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got a better constitution for these kind of things than uh, clear some of the other weaker members of their crew. Do I, need I only to pierced his hide. I need to roll. Uh, roll for what? To see how good I tie him up. Um, yeah, if you want to make a survival check. Freya, go to bed. I am oh. not dealing with this. What? With advantage. With advantage. I'm helping. Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, honestly, mm -hmm. uh, there is the concept of just, like, taking 10 on a roll. So, like... If, yeah. if, you, if you guys work together, I'd say advantage. That's a base plus five. So yeah, you guys tie him up just fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. You you tie him up real good and tight. And, and like, Tonga, you, you try to tug at the knot just to make sure it's good. And like, you've tried, you've un You've been dealing with sailing type stuff for for a while, yeah. it, working around here and trying to secure knots. And yeah. you've never felt a knot this tight, and you can only really attribute it to her <laughs> sheer strength. Let's give a good nod. Well done. Well done. For a high five. Hell yeah! <laughs> I can't quite reach. <laughs> Down low. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. 
I look down at Rory. She thinks I can cook. <laughs> <laughs> I sure am hungry. Honestly, for the day that hey. I've had, that'd be that'd be great, Tonga. <laughs> we deserve a good meal. Take a short rest, long rest. It will be a short rest before the event, right before this guy wakes up. Yeah, it'll be. Uh, you guys can take a short rest before he wakes up. And in that time, you can cook and uh, prepare a meal. Uh, I believe, don't you get like a uh, little temporary HP thing, or I don't know what it was that you can that you can give people with a short rest. But I, I know you get some benefits from being a cook. Yeah, yeah, I do. All right, so I recover seven points of HP. How do you do short rest? Uh, at the top. The one on the left. The fortune. One on the left. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to use one. Oh, actually, I want to use one of my. Um... Well, there you go. That's some HP recovered. 13. Yeah, I would like to, to use my uh, shift chef prestige. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, because you do have a prestige point. Uh, tell me what that yeah, does yeah. again, because uh, it's been a bit. Did you do that? Because I think my was. Wow. Yeah, but for me, you recover some of my spells. Hello? Yep, because you recover your uh, abilities on a short rest. Snyder still has. So, um, first use class. So, a short rest and cook special interest point. Try that. I have ingredients. And prepare enough of this food for a number of characters hmm. equal to plus four. Four plus proficiency. Four plus, okay, so, so like six. Definitely got that covered. Rest and create food and spend one or more by a point to get an extra one D. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So then, in that case. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then also, I give temporary hit points. Ah, the temporary HP. That's what we're after here. Yeah. Creature can use a bonus action to eat one of the streets. Yeah, something like that. Hmm. Just like, like, I think I roll like a D4 plus D8. D4. All right. Everyone gets four temporary. Hey, that's cool. I'm gonna pop uh, on in your health here. thing where it has a little blue. You put that right there. That's awesome. So put four temp HP hey. on Rory. I don't need it. <laughs> you just you just have it. Yeah, you get four temporary hit points. Yeah, in addition to whatever uh, you have for hit points. Yeah. Well, apparently it's thirteen right now. You never said. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with that. So uh, now I got 17. <laughs> well, temporary HP doesn't stack, so you'll have whatever the greater value is. Oh, OK. So I'll just keep it at 13. Where did you get 13? I don't know. It's, uh, it's got to be some, some kind of calculation. He's just cheating. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to look back over it, but. We'll, we'll call it good for now. I'm not too worried about it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we take some time. I make some food, everyone. Um, and we wait for a boy to wake up and we wait for the. We we have that event thing tonight, right? What time now? What time is up? Okay. So a couple of hours pass by. You guys are just kind of. You've settled in. You got the beaver man uh, tied up. But where are you guys keeping him on the ship? 
Wasn't it like down in yeah, one under of the like in one of like the storage rooms type? All right. And wait. so he, I guess he wouldn't know where he would yeah, be he when wouldn't. he wakes up. He 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 opens his eyes. It's like a dark room. Maybe see some boxes in there or something. Yeah. So he's just gonna like in a room with some boxes. All right. Do you so, think he would recognize some of the boxes as his boxes that were in his cave? Not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> a crate's right. a crate. Yeah, you think so in the store. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, when did the storage room get all wooden? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm assuming that most of the ships made of wood. Like that that's a creative choice on uh, Chibi's part. But I digress. Yeah. So a, a couple hours into you guys kind of like settling in, cooking and whatnot. You you do uh, hear like some kind of bumping uh, going on down in the uh, storage area where you put the beaver dude. And just, Beaver Man's awake. Just, just the occasional thud, just like. Oof, oof. Should we go down there, or should we just let him uh, tire himself out? I think we should send uh, uh, someone. Somebody... Yeah. I'm part of the group, so I make. Yeah. Yes, make him make him seem like he was uh, brought in by like his own or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's a plan. Got he drunk and like we had to tie him up so he didn't cause too much of a ruckus. Yeah. All right, all right. Where provisions all the part order from? We need information about the party too. We know we know the, the captain's going to be there. We don't know where. Hmm. All right, all right. Yeah, but we don't have to have some hand. You know, you don't have to be different from where the party is at. Who else is going to tell us? Well, that's true. I mean, there are, you know, there's many, many roads to roam. I'm just trying to figure out why is it. It's all I can see. Discord audio is just so bad tonight. Oh, Coda, I like the uh, little mic arm you got going on there. That's cool. No, thank you. I push. I I'm kind of. I push mine up to show it, but like, I'm not about to mess with the aux cable on my mic again. We don't want. We don't want to hurt a lot. We want to get information. Well. I well, when you were scoring him, but they felt the time. Maybe. So, how are you guys going to do this? Or Send do maybe Snyder and Chibi, or maybe just Chibi? Eh, yeah, just Chibi, because I did just kind of like stab him. So, so the information, right? We want to. I mean, I mean, I could come in and charm him again. You could. Try, try. He will know yeah, that you did it the first time, but you know. But but that's about it, because like a uh, charm will kind of reset. That. If, it, if it doesn't work, yeah. Come in and be like, you never has sex. <laughs> yeah, and then you come in and then you're like, I'm here. Give you a breath. I'm here to save you. You set me. <laughs> How can you let this fish and take advantage of you like that? I thought you were a high <laughs> You come in and like, Pretend to kill me. <laughs> I love these convoluted plans. All right, let's do it. 
<laughs> okay. Run it. All right. Gain his trust. So he can tell you stuff. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to be outside. <laughs> I just want to listen. Listen, please. Off the water right now, or is it still on land? It's like over the door. <laughs> I don't think you can have ships on land. I, I know exactly what you're talking about because yeah, like sometimes ships are constructed on these massive things and be, can be taken out of the water for like building and maintenance purposes. <laughs> well, this is a ship dock with like those resources. Yeah, it's like, I imagine it's like on land. <laughs> no, no. You guys are docked in like the, the harbor. Because, like, a, th for Chibi, this is more like a, a fixer-upper project. All right, so yeah. we'll see if there's a window or right? Or... Yeah. <laughs> and, and for the sake of argument, Akisu, yes, you you are able to move through the, uh, the halls and uh, the doorways of this ship. It's a little cramped doing so, but you're perfectly fine being able to do it. Just kind of like have to bend Get over. Out of here, big bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna like hover over the window, like trying to listen, so that if I have to make dramatic entrance, like yeah, I can just bust. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be like a whole like a cop precinct. Like, hey, <laughs> stop yeah, harassing my client. <laughs> He's got rights. Good cop. <laughs> Nah, everyone talks good cop, bad cop. No one ever talks about good Can cop, bad in... district attorney. Sure, don't be in the way of the door so you can't see. Oh, go. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk in. Uh, okay. Drawn, you know, dark lights, you know. Never the ceiling lamp, right? <laughs> Dark ass room. I want him to, to wake up. I wait a little. Open the open okay. door. You walk in. Well, <laughs> you do the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. It's like well. It's like well. Nice seeing you here again. I, oh, and he's oh. kind of like he tries to reach up to rub at his head, and he's like, oh. and kind of like tries to crack his back a little bit, like, oh. and you just hear like a, a like crack, 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 mm. and then it just stops, and he's like, stop short of like what would have been a satisfying fourth crack. Oh. And, <laughs> and then he, he looks at you, he, he narrows his eyes, like. Uh, you. I remember you. I think. Oh. Yes. I'm just yes. gonna like put my hand on his forehead. I'm gonna cast charm person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what's the d what's your save DC for this? Uh, it looks like, uh, it looks like a DC thirteen wisdom. Sorry. Okay, and. I'm gonna make a roll here. I'm just kind of, where did I put his sheet? There it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, DC 13 wisdom. Mm -hmm. He succeeds. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna look at my friend and then pull my neck. Okay, so you you try to. You try to use your kind of your devilly. Uh, you try to use like some of your devil fruit stuff that you've acquired over your time researching green blood and devil fruit, and as it like starts to take hold for of just a moment, he just shakes it himself loose. He's like, "Oh no, that won't work again." Oh snap. I'm just going to kind of like slowly begin to like 
so he's give him like the wide crouch down in his face. Uh, uh, no one's gonna. No one's gonna come and save you. Hmm. Yeah, he... I'm just gonna kind of like look up to the window, make eye contact. Kind of no, just gonna get hair. You don't understand. You fucked up. <laughs> Funny hair. Oh, I, oh, I fucked up. The, the, the yeah. captain, the captain will get you, <laughs> and I'll get out of here. Not before taking one of you with me. Oh. I'm going to ready my daggers, but I'm not going to do anything. Just grab them. Look at them. Look at them. It doesn't look like you're going anywhere. You think just because you shared a friendly no drink coming. with me that we're going to just let bygones be bygones? No. Yeah. No. He kind of like uh, he leans back on his haunches a little bit because like he's just like kind of like tied up like a around uh, the, the the mid wide section. Is that how you guys tie him up, or like a what kind of tying are we talking here? He's, like, sitting, he's sitting in the chair, arms bound, shoulders okay. and like elbows wrapped, like feet bound behind the chair type shit. Okay, so like a, you know, a good proper. Okay, we got him in a chair. This situation. Okay, like the, the the, the warehouse hot, uh, tie. That I don't know what it's called. <laughs> His tail is like wrapped in there. <laughs> like... And he just kind of uh, not looks at this and he's like, hmm, not for long. I'm just going to kind of stand, stand straight up, cross my arms, cross my arms door, turn back a second, pull out one of my clips, like, just kind of point it out to him. So you're choosing the hairy option. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think you quite understand. Window. You, you see... The, the captain's been running things on this island for a long time. Newcomers like you ain't just going to take over overnight. What? Go the broken? Seriously, let's just find out. They're going to come for you. I can tell by the sway that we're on a ship right now. That means that we're probably in the harbor. And if that's the case, they're not too far away. It would take one loud sound to to alert them. And then you're finished. I'm kind of look down at them. And what sound could that be? You're in a hole. You're in a hole. For one, no, one but no one but me. Hmm. He he kind of like chuckles to himself. Like, <laughs> this will. <laughs> I got time. We got time. I assume you came in here because you wanted something. I don't think you oh, came oh, through. I don't think he hears you. <laughs> I don't. Like I just hear like some something in the background. Like hey, hey, let's then uh, like a garble. He was literally describing her entrance. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have got to fix that mic situation uh, there. <laughs> She's oh, stood here. <laughs> So mm. I had to describe. Use my mic. 
all right i get in there and I'll, like fly through the window and like and then i do a bird finally found you and i'm gonna get up a tonga and like do i get him <laughs> take uh, woodrow okay i i'm gonna say <laughs> I want you guys to give me a performance check with advantage because, like, you're working together on this one. <laughs> yeah, I want to, like, fully sell it to it. What are you doing here? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Avoiding ca catast uh, catastrophe there with a 16 plus. Okay. So, you. You burst through Captain Woodrow. <laughs> you you fake stab Tonga. T Tonga, how how are you uh, or how are you hamming this up? Uh, he like fake stab me. I'm gonna drop my my weapon and go oh, touch my chest. What are you doing here? Take like three steps back towards the door. <laughs> No, no, couldn't have found us quickly. <laughs> he just starts chuckling. <laughs> Who's we? Your entire team is slain on top of this ship. <laughs> it was a matter of time. Out. So they dimmed our character and like slowly turned him to like a red. Because I want to put this, like, caution look on my face. Look around. You know I have you in a choke hold. Oh, yeah. I'm going to attempt to spy it. Clearly. No, release me. I'm going to, like, hold that up. <laughs> and of course you don't think you could overtake a cat like plunge it down and I'll act like hit it and, but I like hit it into the wood alright 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 go down go just, <laughs> I go and like untie Woodrow with the knife so you, you oh, cut him God, loose. Thank God we found you. Thank you. For I, the part. I, I don't remember you, but thank you all the same. And he just kind of like, you can see him hey. just kind of like, he shifts into just a, like a more, he goes from like a more, into a more humanoid form. Just a, a sh more human. And as, as he does That's so. Very wonderful. Yeah, he becomes like he's still fat and whatnot, but <laughs> less pear shaped. <laughs> Just the, the shape shifting, you can tell that he's probably lost like a hundred pounds. Um. Yeah, so he only he he looks like a regular two hundred and fifty pound dude, <laughs> rather than the three hundred and fifty pound beaver dude. He's like, okay. Wait on, wait on. L lead the way. <laughs> I took out most of the gun stop, but we might want to leave through the window and stealthily go around. Ah. Do you think you could fit through this window? <laughs> oh, we won't have to, my dear. Stand back. And he shape shifts into like a his full beaver mode. It's just this massive, just, uh, just like into just full fur claws and he turns his ass towards the window it lifts up his massive no. tail and goes and unleashes just a massive smack and as he does so just in a big old chunk of the wall around that window just bursts out <laughs> from the sheer force and like a you're you're almost dazed a little bit just from the the deafening sound of this. 
Given like, that oh, I did say stealthily, but uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> How do you, what is going through Chibi's mind as the ship that she has been building and working uh, on? <laughs> I just. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm like, is, how do I kill this man right what now? What is uh? I feel uh, like that would be a role for like no. to. We can make. This is fine. This is fine. This is the subterfuge you believe that I'm. I'm dead on the ground. I look up. No. <laughs> This is great. <laughs> You'll never us uh, get away. Get away. You're just a mere pest to the captain. Come on, my dear. We must go. And he turns around, full beaver form, and leaps out oh in, into the water <laughs> and makes a quick swim to shore. I'm gonna like jump on him and be like, ride! Yeah, so. <laughs> and with just a huge slap of the tail, he's just like jets forward. Well, there she goes. <laughs> I'm like, shit, what am I doing? <laughs> you don't, uh. <laughs> there. What? And then. Uh, and then, and then <laughs> uh, <laughs> no wait, no, wait. you have she... you have a you have a transpon yeah. yeah all right so... yeah so she could be brought there and then she could relay the information right, Dar- you, uh, you tell Darius where like once he oh yeah Darius and... has one of the transponder snails. Yes. So he's. Oh yeah, but we left him at the cave, didn't we? Yeah, he's still keeping watch. <laughs> so, <laughs> speaking of which, oh, he... yeah, yeah. I told him to come. Oh, uh, alarm! It's true. Hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> this complicates situ- the escaped. situation a little bit. But it's still manageable. <laughs> the situation keeps getting worse. It's it's It'll make you. <laughs> well, that's great. We can do it. All right. All right. Well, Ruby is, Ruby now. is now the kidnapped one. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> under. <laughs> No, she got away. He's right. This transponder oh, She doesn't have one. Darius has it. No, she had one too. Yeah, there's two transponder snails. Yeah, but Darius has one too. And Darius has the one from the beaver guy. I thought right. you gave me the one from the beaver guy. You gave this, and Isu has been calling Darius off of you. Yeah, I have one too. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess that one. So, this one has one. And, I, and you had one, and I think you gave it to me. Oh. No, you got one, Darius. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I'm feeling sad. I thought we gave. I thought we took the transponder snail off the beaver guy and gave that one to Darius. Yeah. Huh. As captain. Yeah, because I with money. <laughs> I'm just uh, trying to figure. Anyway, out uh, stuff out. we have transponder snails. Okay. Um, Darius has one. Chibi doesn't have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you could I probably mean, you like could... slip away. Yeah, make it there. Tell us where to find out where it is. All right. I'm gonna hmm. 
try to assess my environment and see if I'm way there. Uh, what was that? <laughs> I'm gonna try the and see if there's anything. Uh, I don't know why it's so uh, garbled when I'm trying to hear what you guys are saying. Maybe it's my internet. He's using my mic. No, it's, it's. I think just Discord's just been very garbled on my end. Uh, hmm. Weird. She only said um, that she was just going to see if she could see anything recognizable in the landscape. Okay. Uh, to relay the All right. All right. Let's see here. Um yeah, so a as you're kind of sure. going a Yeah, thank you settings. So a as you're going with the beaver dude to the he's like, "Okay, well, there is a meeting tonight." So but by the way, I didn't catch your name. You you look familiar. As he's just kind of like walking with you. My name's Sansa. I'm pretty new to this. But Sansa. I was sent to help you. As like a mission of evil. Uh, yes, yes. What? Well, Let's see. Well, you know, you're, you're, it looks like you're an excellent addition to the, the Zoom Empire. It's, I, I mean, obviously, look at yourself. Thank yeah. you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. So, let's see. And he's just kind of like uh, thinking to himself. There are new players on the block. Threatening to take over uh, the captain's control over the island. It, surely this must be something orchestrated by the time and pirates. I don't suppose you have any, any intel on this. The members I, on top of the ship did resemble the time and pirates. Mm, they didn't have the right garb, though. Perhaps some kind of disguises. But that fish man's becoming a real problem. Cool. We'll have to we'll have to take him out. Hopefully, he's wounded enough. Indeed, he'll be no match for the captain, but he did give me trouble. Regardless, whoever he answers to must be quite strong. We'll have to hurry on to the to the meeting come along and, and so he just kind of like leads you uh on the way to the other side of the island pat going in like kind of the uh the opposite direction of where you guys went to find the uh the little secret grotto and, and as uh, you guys go further and further that way, you start, you see a, a just a bunch of ships just kind of like docked on, on that side. Uh, and they, they all bear the, the zoo pirate uh, flag, which is just like a, a big old a skull and crossbones with fangs and almost like a liony mane around it. Excellent. Seems like I will be on time. And he just kind of like leads you to the main ship. Which is just massive. It's got this whole like figurehead on it. It's like a huge, huge like lion just with a gaping uh, jaw. Just like wide open with a, just a slight s curl of a smile to it. To like the, ah, the lips, you know. And as you uh, get closer and closer, it, you, you see that like there's there's all kinds of like buttressed up stuff 
and archways over the uh, little rooms and areas on on board the ship. So a little peculiar for structure wise, but, you know, you, you got to admire like a little bit of the architecture. And you, you see lots well, of... Well, it's uh, been a pleasure yeah. to escort you, but I think I should get going. I don't think I'm welcome in this meeting yet. Uh, he he looks at you. He's like, hmm, no nonsense, nonsense. For this rescue, surely you'd be, uh, the captain would reward you. Or or at least uh, he, he will once he gets here. It, judging from the state of uh, the men, it, it and he just kind of like looks around and just sees like a, a lot of them are just bustling about some drinking and uh, just, kind of partying on like they usually do so not much for authority figures uh, in the the vicinity uh, tell you what he uh kind of uh takes a out like a pocket watch looks at it we have about an hour so meet me uh up on top up on the ship and he points up to a little spot right, right there. And uh, you see just, it, it's close to the captain's quarters, like right on the, the prow. We're going to be having our meeting later tonight there. And we're going to have all the, the men uh, gathered up around. I, just meet me up there in an hour. I need to get all these, I need to get this rowdy lot kind of, in order. And he just kind of waddles away as he does so. <laughs> as you watch him kind of go off, he'll, he finds his way up to the uh, top of a little platform and uses his beaver tail to just get like a big old smack and just that, that loud thunderous crack o around the uh, area. Just all eyes are on him. And he just starts yelling orders and like, a, people are like oh okay yep so, sobering up sobering up and he's just kind of like directing things and getting everybody to where they're supposed to be and in proper order for when the captain gives the orders what are you going to do while he's busy i'll like try to find like a little corner to kind of situate myself in all right. Are you doing that stealthily, or are you just like uh? Yeah, but not to draw attention to. Me. So, if I was like found in the corner, I wouldn't want to pause. You know. Mm, fair enough. All right. Give, uh, give me a stealth check. Is it sad that I kind of for, I forgot what the, I wrote down for the captain's name? Like, I've been just avoiding that this entire time. Is it yours? I didn't think you guys would get this close to him this quickly. There. Ah, oh, yes, that, that was it. But most of the crew members would refer to him as the captain, so that works, you know. Okay, what'd you get for your role? Oh. Yeah. Seven. Not too many. Some Did people are taking... Him? Some of the people are taking notice that, uh, hey, there, there's this... The, the bunny girl that they've seen around town here and there. But... They don't appear to be too concerned about it. So you just kind of like find your way to a little uh, secluded pile of crates to the side where you can kind of, you're, you're pretty sure that no one's going to bother you there. Uh, I assume you use the transponder snail? 
Yes, if I have one. Okay, so the the group had uh, two transponder snails. Yeah, we one. And we took the one from the beaver. Yeah, yeah and that one was given to Darius. Okay, so you're, you're calling the rest of the crew. Gotcha. This will be uh, calling Akisu, I believe. Yep. Hello? Akisu, I'm here. Is that you, Chibi? Yeah, the captain will be here in like a little less than an hour. Where are you? I'm across from we on the other side of the island. Saying those what the landmark I'm supposed to meet the beaver again in about an hour at the top of this ship. Yeah, I can't yeah, I, can't. No, yeah. I imagine once you describe I'm assuming you're right next to me. Yeah. Yeah. The island on the other side of where we fought him. Probably. Probably. Is that what she's talking about, Tango? Would I? Uh, you know what? Uh, you've been around the island. You, you know that, that based off of the, just kind of the, the gist of directions that she's given, you're like, yeah, yeah you, you, got, a, uh, you got an idea. Right. All right. Be there. Not sure what they'll do. Just... Hold on. I don't think we'll make it in time. Maybe you should sit in on this meeting. I'm going to try, but if our captain is a tactical me, which I would like to read. True. That is true. He didn't know we were captured. But. What about the guy who got away? Maybe he alerted the other capture. Maybe, you know. Maybe I'll say that the guy gave me orders directly from the captain and mm. it was misconstrued. Yeah. I will say that would be a tough sell. Did, you know, not impossible. Some... Just that that'd be a tough sell. Hmm. I am liking these dice that I've been using for this session. Pretty good balance spread of rules. Yeah, maybe you know you were on from the shadow. Saw Woodrow get captured. Thought it upon yourself to rescue him. Because you know, you know I to be like, now's my chance. Maybe one of the ones that died could have been talking to me about becoming a new recruit. So I right. could to prove myself. Uh, see good himself to, to save what's his face maybe they, maybe they don't know who you are but maybe you want them right you know, so oh, it's fine type of stuff mm -hmm. hmm. all right I uh, TV you should uh Learn as much as you can about planning that it was pirates who uh, hired the you no know, the infamous fish man to help them capture him. <laughs> I think we should be nearby that way, like. Calls if she gets into trouble and we can come in and help her out. Yeah, do we, if I get do, into trouble, I'll bolt. Would I be, would I be confident that like, we could make it there? Uh, um, let's see. I'd say that it's about a a 40-minute walk. 
so you could reasonably get within within range of the, of the location. Okay. I mean, because like think the, the, the main thing is like they're all kind of like docked out. into this like little bay on the other side of the yeah. island. Because it's not like an assassination right now. Yeah, right. gathering information, playing the seeds of deceit. <laughs> Mm. I mean, even if you got found out, they'd be like, oh. Oh, they'd have to catch her first, Bye. honestly. I'm pretty sure with the evidence that I gave Woodrow, they think that yeah. you're working for the team. Uh, yeah. And then, like, and then, like, even if, you know, they find you to be a spy or suspicious, they would think, they would oh, think, oh fuck. Like, the other. That would make it even. Mm. Or like I, or yeah, I like this plan. <laughs> now that I've planted the seed, I'll lay low and try not to be recognized too much. Yeah, yeah. sounds. Definitely good. trying to sit in. Let us know. Let us know if anything goes wrong. We'll uh, we'll get close. If you need, uh, if you need uh, an extraction, yeah, yeah. We'll get close. We'll get close. I think, uh, uh, I think, I think, I think Akisu should, should stay here. here. Maybe, Maybe uh, uh, me and Rory will get closer to this base. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> I'll try to repair the uh, right. hole. <laughs> we'll talk about that. <laughs> well, do you want me to try to repair it, or would you rather repair it yourself? I'm not a shipwright. <laughs> <laughs> my work. So you don't want me to do anything. Okay. <laughs> so it's joking. <laughs> Rory's just kind of like looking around the ship at, and listening as you guys are talking about this. And he's just kind of like chimes in. When she gets back, we should see about making it a little bit bigger in some spots so it's easier for Akisu to move around. I don't want her to whack her head again. She did that like three times. Aw, thanks, little man. It's, it's funny to watch, but I'm going to get bored of it like real quick. What do you think? It'll be a real shame if her starts to drop. Do pirate hideout? And, uh, uh, maybe be in the area if you be in some trouble. That sounds like you guys have a plan. I love it. Wait, are there other There are about. You know, I'm going to roll for this because fuck it. There's about four ships there. Do you. Do, can I tell if there are people in the. Uh. In the uh, the ships at the wait, are are you talking ships at the dock or what? ships at where the where the meeting's going on? Where our ship is. Oh, where your ship is. Uh, yeah, the the docks are. There's easily at least a, I I'd say about ten ships uh, across the the harbor, and just that that's just the bigger ones. There's there's plenty of smaller ones as well. And you still have the one that you, the, well, I mean, if you could call it a ship, it's just like a. No, we salvaged it, remember? Oh, oh you, you know what? You're right. You're right. You, you salvaged that stuff. Okay, like, yeah. Picked it up, brought it over. Like, here, we got material now. Can I tell if there are people? Like, can you tell if what now? If there are people in the other ship. Uh, looking out over the other ships, you do see like a few uh, fa a few uh, people kind of like scuttling about on each of the ships. Oh, okay. And throughout the harbor, I mean, things are dying down in the evening, but it's not un you know that it's not unusual for there to at least be a minimum of one or two uh, lookouts kept on any reputable ship at any given time reputable as in like a, you know self any anyone who's self-respecting understands that you need to have at least a few people on their ship at... it's a it's a standard procedure i was gonna loot them <laughs> maybe now is not the time 
Yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard to hide. You're so funny. You take note of it for later. <laughs> <laughs> but all right. Yeah, me and Rory will start heading that way. Uh, hmm. Is there any preparation uh, you guys want to make uh, for going into the situation? Mm. Can I try and go back to the cave to get more supplies? Mm, uh, you'd have to split from the party, but you know what? I don't see why not. I mean, we're, all we're already split. So. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean this is a stealth mission? Because if they see Tonga, they're gonna know. Yeah. What? <laughs> Back, Dave. Yeah, I'm not going with me. Me and Rory go. Oh, yeah. We were talking about me going back to the cave to get more of the supplies that were in there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's Snyder going to be doing in this, uh, in all of this? Fuck. Uh, uh, I'm going to watch the ship. Yeah, I can, I can, I can watch the ship to make sure nobody else tries to, like, Pedro get taken. Uh, Rory just kind of like, uh, kind of looks up to you. He's like, uh, I don't know, Snyder. They, if things go bad, uh, they might need your help. You're a doctor and stuff. I mean, y you help uh, me out. Bro. That's true. Do you just want to come with us, then? Uh, I could stay yeah, here and watch the show. Yeah, I might as along. I mean, worst case scenario, right. like, uh, you could leave a transponder snail with me and, like, uh... Stay here? Yeah, yeah I, I suppose, or, like, uh... Or maybe you could have, like, Darius come back? I, 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 I don't know. I, I want to be helpful. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm there. <laughs> All right, me, me Rory, Rory, or Rory can stay and watch this. And Snyder will go check on me. Mm. Besides, if you guys have to get out of there real quick, uh, whatever S Snyder did, where like he opened the air that. That's probably helpful, right? That's true. But, yeah, I, I can. Are you a magician? I can. You... Uh, oh. Oh. <clears throat> I just have fruit. My... <laughs> that, that makes sense. That's pretty sweet, though. Really cool. He can open cool. air doors. It's definitely, definitely something to get used to. Can you open doors in people? Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. The, the real questions. <laughs> So, <laughs> 20, 30 minutes, we're traveling. Chibi is undercover. Mm. And then, then. All right. Well, you guys managed to get up to a good vantage point on like a little hill, kind of like a, well, more like a knoll of a hill, just kind of a. Uh, Maybe like two or three, like I'd say two, about 300 meters away. But you, you can still see like uh, the ships and everything kind of like gathered down in this little bay. And with that, Chibi, you see uh, everyone's kind of like a gathering around the, the, cr the crowds uh, coming together. And you, you see Woodrow up on the prow of the ship. And 
walking down from behind, well, coming out from uh, the captain's quarters, you see just this massive, like, he, he must be at least eight feet tall, just half lion uh, looking dude. Like, he just has like this, like his face is just kind of like a, like a, kind of like a flat nose, just a massive mane and like really thick arms and claws. And he just kind of like, he's walking up on, he, he kind of looks like a, that, that, that lion looking Digimon. You, you got, you know, the one that I'm talking about, right? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. the one that everybody simps over. Yes. Yes. That one. He looks like that, but like, he's got a beer gut. Nice. Doesn't he have a beer gut? Yeah. No, he has abs. No. Yeah. It's like where Garurumon, but a lion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's his name again? Look up Le Leomon. Yeah, Leomon. Yeah. He, he, he's like if uh, Leomon had like a straight beer gut dad bod. Oh, yeah. But like you could tell like that there's still good muscle there. I was thinking of and it's uh, like slightly middle aged. Iron dude from the Well, not slightly middle aged. He he looks like he could be in his forties, mm -hmm. possibly fifties. It's hard to tell with the lion face. That's Leomon. Show some guy. Hmm. <laughs> the, the more you look at it. Is this, <laughs> is this the captain or is this just some uh judging by the way everyone is acting around you shouting captain 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 and he's just kind of like mm. so, uh, he's like yeah first... let's go haha <laughs> And he's like, Mwah, Mwah. <laughs> yes, please, please settle down, everyone. <laughs> and we're going to leave off right there. <laughs> yep. It and it was the fucking solo leveling. Oh my god. Don't even get me started on solo leveling. <laughs>